fish pull out as much as he's pulling in. Way out there now. I'll be getting ready to surface. He did surface, he's giving it away. Well, it's been been three minutes, Jim. Have you made any progress? <laughs> I only have uh, I, I have you on tape for six minutes. <laughs> There's probably about 15 minutes that I haven't gotten you on tape. Sucker, not giving up easy. Can this be one of those classic old men in the sea where I fight this thing for two days? Well, look around. Let me show you. Let me see the old man in the sea. <laughs> okay. Crisis. What was it you just said, Jim? Day 317. Crisis in the Gulf. <laughs> well, actually, we just let another five minutes go by. <laughs> the, the other Gulf. So we've let a good 15 minutes go by, maybe up to 20, with uh, seven minutes recorded. And Jim's still pulling in, and the fish is still pulling out. It's still, it's still a draw. Jim's bicep is getting tired. Put the gaff away. Yeah, put the <laughs> gaff away. And there, there he goes, just... You get a shot of the pole tip? This is a rock cod <laughs> reel. It's not supposed to bend. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this pole bend this much. And another four minutes have passed and our hero is still busy at it. He's really in a little more now than he's taken. Look at that pole bend still. That's unbelievable. This one's Moby. Do you need your brow wiped, surgeon? <laughs> no, but I probably do need a seat. <sighs> Well, another three minutes have passed. Got a sight of it. Got a sight of it. White-ish. It's not a black sea bass. Making progress. That's a rock cod pole. Look at it bend. My God. Or the battery will die. Huh? Or the battery will die. Well, fortunately, we have two batteries. <laughs> and the battery, the camera says that the battery is is close to being worn out, but it continues to play. We're just moving around the boat. Now that's with the with the tightened. Yep. You see them anymore coming up in color? Nope. You couldn't tell if you were there around. Two and a half minutes or three minutes, our hero is still still at it. Pole still bending. Can you see it? Could it be a ray of some sort? It could be. It's a shark about looks like four to five feet.
Okay, I got my, I got control still. Okay, I had a good chunk on him. He just jumped straight up. Now he just didn't go down for a while. You might even give him a little bit more line if necessary. Yeah. I don't think I'm. I don't have much choice. I punched a hole in him. Great. Now we'll track more. <laughs> Well, I think so. No, ben, <laughs> well, Ben punched a hole in him, and the shark got mad. Now he's going back down again. So anyway, that was about another four-minute interlude. We're actually at about 25 minutes now of actual working on the shark. Maybe maybe close to half an hour. But that was a dandy shark. Next time I'm going to try to get him in the head. What was it you said about gaffing, Jim? I got him in gaffing distance twice. Time for me to pass the buck. Okay, so you're passing the buck to your dad. Okay, you're putting your pubic belt on your dad. You're good. Ah, you can rest. Ah. Yeah, we're only 12 minutes into filming now. He's <laughs> squatting down there. Hell of a squat. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just keep him away from uh, all the little fizzy bubbles. Of course, maybe if we get him into that, he'll stun him. <laughs> well, he's just like a uh, little helicopter down there, sitting down. Little helicopter? Yeah. Hovering. That's about as big a shark as you want to catch, isn't it? Especially only 40 pound test line. And having the same boat with you. 17 footer. <laughs> what can we get one of those sleeping sharks? Another couple of minutes have passed while Ben is trying to hold his own. Are you done with my fish yet, Dad? <laughs> Come on, I'm getting tired of this. I want to go home, I want to take a shower. You know, there's beer waning. There's no beer on the boat. Come on, get your act together. You learned his lesson coming up here last time, I guess. down pretty soon. Who's going to wear down pretty soon? Three people versus one shark. And so far the shark is winning. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're on a third body here. And uh, that was only another five minute interlude <laughs> from the last scene. That was a short one. Well, it's... I, I turned it off so, so it starts over again. <laughs> No, it's still 14 minutes. Oh, so it's saying? Okay. Um, <clears throat> what we're looking at is the shark has gone through three humans. He's, or he's on his third human. And it's still the same darn shark. Any color yet? Nope. So. Look at that. See. I got the SOB. Woo! Took three of us. Gotta make sure he's dead. It's a long trip home. Just leave him here for a while. Okay. Hi, Sharky. I got him at the gas of so must rest. Go ahead. I think we got him. Yeah. I'm gonna try Shark. The victors! Hey, he's only a five foot shark! Yay! Only five foot? Oh, no, no, no. It looks 20 feet to me, Doc. That heart's still going strong. Okay, now it's Jim's turn. <laughs> well, 
little fillet here and a little fillet there. Trying to chop its head off so it didn't come back to life a la Joe's 14. There's the head. Still kicking. Still kicking. Coming to a. Uh, I beat the lake. holy hell out of him before he before he put him on on board. He's still kicking. Okay, Jim, get the other one out and was, the uh, other part. Huh? Get the other part. Okay. Hey, now we're gonna. We've looked at the gory part, now we're going to look at the glory part here. There you go. Oh boy. Can you move farther back? Can I get the head? Can you show us how that head fit on? Okay. Well, this was a lucky example where the shark bit through the hook that he, through the leader of the hook that uh, ha had the bait, but yet he was snagged. There. Point it to your hand. Right there. There's the line. That's how we got him in. That's how you got him in with that hook, as he bit through the leader of the if other you hook. You can zoom in, you can see there's I did. Uh -huh. one or two strands left on that. Only what? One or two strands. Oh, really? Left. 